so far I've had pretty good luck with dating outside of the industry. So I feel very grateful that I have kind of like the best of both worlds. Like I, I was going to ask you about that because yeah. dating <laughs> generally outside of the industry is really is, is hard and you don't seem to be having issues with it. No, I mean, I've I'm like I have my own issues with just like uh, so far I haven't dated anyone who's been like, I don't want you to shoot with guys or like they're uncomfortable about it. Um, I was with this one dude for a second and he was super nice. He literally told me, he's like, I don't want you to change anything like mm -hmm. about your life now that we're like hanging out and stuff. Um, and that just, that ended just from, honestly, I just didn't feel like we were a good match, but, um, but so far anybody I've dated, um, I try not to at least jump into anything. Like anybody I start seeing, it's kind of like pretty casual for a while. And then, yeah, I just haven't get, had to really get to the point where we're gonna have that conversation, mm -hmm. thankfully. <laughs> but so far, um, I dated like a couple people and they've all been very, they were just like, let's just talk about it or, or they're kind of into it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've had yeah. like I've had like two guys be like, "I watch your, I'll watch your stuff." Sometimes mm -hmm. I'm like, "Oh, like today this guy I'm seeing was like, sent me something." I was like, "Oh God, you found my Twitter!" <laughs> it's like, "Oh no," and he was like, "Yeah," he's like, I, "I was just wondering if you ever tweet about the time you tried to kill me with sixteen habaneros." I was like, "No," <laughs> <laughs> but. That's what happens when you date a cook. I it, sneak sixteen habaneros into your so food. The, the thing, off. The, I wasn't. I wasn't pissed off. I was trying to impress him because he's part Peruvian, and I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna make this Peruvian dish," and I like spice. And I was like, "You're Peruvian. You must like spice." <laughs> and we start eating it, and I was like, "Huh." He's like, it's really good. And I'm like, yeah. And then we're both like sweating after like two minutes. We're like, he's like, how many habaneros did you put in? And I was like, I like six. He's like, probably put like one and we would have been fine. It's like, okay, well. So I almost killed him that night <laughs> on accident. Habaneros are intense. I love them. but they're they're, Yeah, I, now I know. So how do you meet guys? Because you're kind of known for sliding into like famous people's DMs, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so you're not necessarily on Tinder. No, not Tinder. Um, I have a Raya. Okay. That's usually, that's like the safest one. I feel like um, so far, those that's usually where I meet people or Instagram. I've, mm -hmm. I've yeah, I usually just, I've slid in and just usually say wood bane. Just, that's it. And usually, it, will you bang? I just, that's all I say is would bane. What? Like I, I would bane you. Is oh, like I would what bang. I'm saying. Oh, sorry, yeah, gotcha, gotcha, that's gotcha. all I say. <laughs> I mean, it's short and to the point. Yeah. So I'm like, especially if it's like, yeah, someone I'm kind of just like, it's a famous person. Mm -hmm. I don't really see that being a relationship, but. And they respond. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, also, too, like, people get a lot, I mean, I know for me, I get so many fucking DMs mm -hmm. that, like, a lot of times, like, I won't see people's DMs. Yeah. I, I also think, don't check my DMs anymore. Yeah. Well, I have the, the blue part. check mark, so I feel like that helps, that but help. also. That puts you in the primary section. Yeah, yeah. but also, <laughs> always, like, I always said that, like, I feel like just saying, like, oh, I'd smash or I'd bang. Mm -hmm kind of gets their attention more especially if it's like a celebrity you kind of have a crush on because they're not like i'm sure they get messages all the time about girls I like um yeah i mean like, like kind of trying to step <laughs> yeah step around yeah and the I, ultimate. which i'm like if if it's a dude that's like pretty up there like an a-list like there's not much he's probably wanting to do yeah i mean sometimes they're like so Where'd you grow up? Yeah. <laughs> and then you're like, I mean, <laughs> you're like I just, I just messaged you that, but okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so, 
you're not shy about your love for hooking up with comedians. No. What attracts you to comics specifically? Um, I mean, I if there's one job I think more vulnerable than being naked on camera, it's telling jokes to a crowd. Oh, girl. Like, stand-up <laughs> comedy gives me fucking so much anxiety. Yeah. Like, I, that is the one thing that I don't think I would ever have the guts to do. Like, I will yeah. do all things before stand-up comedy i will jump out of an airplane yeah. <laughs> i will jump into a pool full of roaches mm -hmm. i will have sex on camera which i won't do now right <laughs> um i will do anything before i do stand-up comedy because that is so scary and i mm -hmm. almost hate going to to like open mic nights because when that person gets up there that's yeah. not that funny and mm -hmm. nobody's laughing at their jokes like the Your pain breaks. <laughs> that i feel inside for uh -huh. that person is like it's very overwhelming and uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah. I get that. <laughs> and you have to, I feel like you also have to be kind of vulnerable that's to be why. good, right? Yeah, for sure. And that's why, like, any of my favorite comics um, I'm, like, now friends with, which is interesting, but they're all very authentic people. Mm -hmm. And they're also, like, the kind of comics that don't, like, because there's comics that, like, kind of do the douchier thing where they're making fun of everyone else. Mm -hmm. But I like, like, even me, like, I've written some stand-up, and it's always, like, stuff based off me and my mm -hmm. own shit. Yeah. Because I feel like if you can't laugh at yourself, then you're not a good comic. <laughs> yeah. And I think that people find humor in the things that are always personally relatable yeah right? exactly. because we all have vulnerabilities exactly so when, so when someone can stand up there and not only talk about their vulnerabilities but mm -hmm. you know make you laugh about them yeah then that i think that triggers something in all of us hey guys if you want to support my show then you should think about joining my patreon at my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q&As, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.